Okay, so we're wrapping up here. We're almost done with this foot here. Oops. Okay, we still don't want that. All right, that's. Take these. There we go. <clears throat> and actually, from the looks of it, we may want to bring that over on this side. We have our seam kind of. So we have our seam consistent. Let's bring that over here. You tear that together. We're gonna just relax. Oh, too much there. Relax this, and we move this into position here. There we have our foot <coughs> in place. And we want to pin the border points. Relax everything inside. Actually, let's relax this. No, we need we need to have some space there. I think that works out. Alright, then we got the foot attached now. Let's go ahead and get the arm attached. Match these points up here. Okay, seam starts there. Here's where our seam starts. So we're going to take these away right now. So let's see what we're doing here. Gonna kind of bring these together. All right. And that belongs to a separate uh, <coughs> monogon there. You eat terrace, and it looks nasty. <coughs> Just <coughs> relax. Oh, there we go. Mm -hmm. And actually we still need to pin some more points there. There we go. Wait a minute. Okay, that goes to something else. Alright, yeah, so we need to bring this there, I believe. Yes, that's exactly where we want it. UV Terrace. Select that. Relax it. There we go. Bring these two points back, or these two polygons back now. I 
I keep going to transform because I'm used to this window being a little bit bigger. And it's always on the right hand side, so if you're ever wondering about that. Alright. So there our arm is attached. We have our back more or less. Now I'm gonna select these points here and we're just gonna kinda relax this whole thing here. Mm -hmm. Only a little bit much. Mm -hmm. What we actually want mm -hmm. is these to be lined up. Oh, and there's one more thing I never quite went over is <coughs> line up UVs. This will actually line up UVs that you have along the side, along the edges, like the arm here. If you were to line these up, they will act. They will just from the end point to this point, it will line them up uniformly. <coughs> distributed based on the, the actual geometry here. So just so you know that we 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 can leave that alone for now. Though. Not really a great necessity that we do that here, but in some situations it's very very helpful. But we will go ahead and line these up. That's the middle point because these will actually need to be. And flat into the side. And the reason for that is, of course, because this is a <coughs> subject is symmetrical. So we're actually going to mirror the other these UVs back to combine one single one single mesh with both sides to it, non-uniform. Oh, and you notice it's moving up and down a little bit. If you want to stop that. You can uh, change the snapping. You, you can quantize that scale and just make it nice and flat. There we go. And of course, the head. The head we keep, the head we keep separate. <coughs> so there's the head. We can probably go ahead and relax that also. And that's uh, that's more or less it. Bring these points here. Rotate those a little bit, and it doesn't have to be perfect because we're gonna we're gonna UV terrace them together when after we make it symmetrical there. But we do want to keep those points in place when we UV map these. So we want to keep these these points in place there. Oops. Oopsie. Relax. There we go. And it still has. We just want. There we go. Maybe we want to move that just a little bit. Move the points where you need them to be so they don't uh, look like they belong to another set. These do belong together, but we still need a little bit of space there between them. <coughs> and now, when we're all ready, just kind of get select all this. Go to mapping. We're gonna just put that, and it'll automatically set it into place where it's maximized for um, scaling. And you can adjust the spacing and uh, between the edges. <coughs> I usually use one percent, so it gets a little bit closer to the edges there. And also, uh, the optimal cubic, and it'll um, it'll actually rearrange things a little bit more than you probably wanted. So some other options that are available, but usually all I use is realign. And there's also stretch to fit. I don't like to use that because it uh, changes the or changes the orientation of everything. But uh, there is the model. And if we uh, <coughs> change these tiles here. To a smaller set of tiles, get a better idea of how uniform our model is. So, so that's UV mapping.